All right, the fire load for this burn is a overstuffed chair, four dressers, and about uh, 10 bags of clothes, all the junk that was left inside this house. We left the front door open and the window open to simulate the worst possible case scenario we show up to. It's uh, the fire is well vented. Somebody left the door open, window popped before we got there. You'll see hydro vent inserted from the outside. Again, unmanned operation once it's in place. You got about 70 gallons a minute going back in. Straight streams off the ceiling, kind of reverse sprinkler head effect, knocking down the rollover, knocking down your temperatures inside, and at the same time you have the fog stream out, pulling your heat and smoke out. Now that was a quick video. This time you want to think about flow path control. What's it doing for you? Is it favorably influencing your flow path out through the fire room away from you and any victims inside? Fire suppression, you can obviously see what it was doing that 70 to 90 gallons a minute back in. in increased visibility, if it does that for you, you're 100% safer if you can see what you're doing. Rapid temperature drop comes from the flow path control and the fire suppression. And then think about your task math. We all show up on the scene initially. We've got many more things to do than we have manpower to do them. So we'll show you the video again, about another 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. And then uh, if you need anything, give us a call at Hydramont. Here we go. So take a look at that chair in a tick view, bottom left, you can actually see the heat and smoke actually being pulled off of there. The rollover is gone after just a few seconds. Uh, knocks temperatures down in that room from 1500 degrees down into the 500 degree range. Um, makes it safer for us. As always, give us a call at Hydrovent, 847-846-6617 if you have any questions or if you want to talk tactics.